I'm going to Rome. All right, fly crew, really quickly, because I know you can hear the music. I'm headed to Rome and I'm flying on the Airbus 350 aircraft. I'm working in the three right position, so I catch you when I get to Rome. Such a far walk to get out of the airport into the hotel shuttle, almost there. I made it to my room here in Rome, Italy. This is my first time in Italy. Therefore, it's my first time in Rome. Let me show you the room. When you first walk in, this is what you see. It smells really lovely in here too. You have a closet right here. They gave me slippers, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. These are really cushiony too. We have a mini fridge right here. Oh, this is actually a mini bar. I do have food, so let me see if there's actually a mini fridge first. All right, so we do not have a mini fridge, but this is a part of the mini bar as well, as well as a price list in there. Not gonna bother that. Here is my view. And I actually can open this. Oh, I can get fresh air. So here's a better view of my view. Let's close this back up. It's a very nice day today in Rome, actually. And then here is a view of my room from the other side. And that is a real plant over there, by the way. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh wait, let me turn the light on. Wow, very nice. Very nice in here. All right, let me close the door so I can show you the bidet. Here's the toilet. And then here is the bathtub. We have a robe, towels. <laughs> and I'm laughing because we have a half glass shower door. You know how we love those. And then lovely countertop. And then here is a mirror. So those are my shoes making that sound on the floor, FYI. And then let's come up. And here's the bedroom. I also wanted to show y'all that we have these bottles of water around the room. This is a glass bottle. And the crew told me this water was pretty tasty. Funny thing about this trip is that when I was working my A days last week, I ended up doing a Birmingham turn within those and that's in this vlog right here. And the flight attendant, we were just chatting and she was like, oh, what do you guys work or when do you work? And I was like, I'm going to Rome this weekend. And she was like, oh, that's really nice. I actually do Rome a lot. She was just telling me, you know, different things to do and things to purchase from the store. Y'all know I love good grocery store run i show her the hotel where we're staying at and she's like oh my god i am so 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 jealous i absolutely love this hotel that you're staying at she was like i wish i was working that trip now so i could stay at the hotel she was like they treat us so nice and the hotel is so lovely and it's just so lovely and like it smells good it's just it's very nice the current time is 12 40 now my van time tomorrow is at 9 45 a.m and i planned on coming here and hitting the ground running but i don't know if i'm gonna do that now like i'm pretty tired i think i should take a little bit of a nap maybe like an hour and then get out and about the things i want to do today are just like the touristy type stuff i should have asked my crew members or at least the speakers what was like a good grocery store here i did see Kira for express you know i became familiar with Kira for when i went to barcelona in this vlog and i saw an express which is typically like a smaller store so maybe i'll just ask the concierge right now i'm just gonna get settled into the room i really want 
would try to take a nap before I get out and about. The crew members that I'm working with, and my, actually, this is so funny, two of the crew members that I'm working with, both of the persons, so you have the A person, which is the person that works business class, and then you have the B person, which is also known as the service leader, they work in main cabin. I worked with both of them before. I work with one person on one of my London trips, and then I work with the other person on one of my Paris trips. The person that I work with on my very first Paris trip, her and I plan on getting together later on today. So I'm not sure if we're gonna do everything today. I didn't wanna drag her all over the city because she's definitely been here before. I just wanna pop in and tell y'all that I made it to my room. Let me get set up because I'm highly, highly, highly considering taking a nap. I'll catch y'all later. All right, Fly Crew, I am up for my nap and this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing some colorful sneakers as well as some cargo jeans. And then I'm wearing an orange bodysuit. All right, so I'm getting ready to meet my crew member downstairs. And there was two things I wanted to tell y'all earlier and I kind of forgot. So it is gonna be daylight saving time here in Rome. So we're gonna move one hour forward between two and 3 a.m. just like in the US where they're doing it this weekend, which is Easter weekend. And also, did I tell y'all it was Easter weekend? It is. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday and also this hotel has a map of the area and it maps you at the hotel plus all the stuff around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the room and I'll catch y'all when I get out there. Alright, Fly Crew, so we just got done having drinks with one of the flight attendants. So we had a jump seater, and the jump seater and one of our persons, they were friends, and she was meeting a friend here. So all four of us decided to come and have a drink on the rooftop over here by the Spanish ship. So I wanted to see the Trevi Fountain around this time while it was not dark, but getting there. So right now we're just in the area looking at little street shops and stores. We're probably gonna go to Trevi Fountain now and probably get something to eat. So I'll catch you all in a little bit. Look at how cool this building is. walked uphill now we're going upstairs my apple watch is gonna be like do you want to record an outdoor walk by the way i really like the food at the restaurant very tasty look at all these pins oh more thank you I am the king of this. I see. Yeah, because I work even with collectionists. Hi, I wanted to know if I can have a bag of ice for my lunch bag. I am back in my room and I had a really great time today. My B purser, me, the flight attendant who jump seated and her friend, we all hung out today. We had drinks on the rooftop and then we separated cause they went to dinner and did some other stuff. Me and the other flight attendant that I was with hung out and then we just met back up and we went to this bar called Kong Bar. I really like the concept of Kong Bar because it puts a really unique spin on drinks. I don't think I mentioned this, but I 
had been taking a month off from drinking alcohol and not that I felt like I was drinking too much alcohol I just want to take a month off and just not drink any alcoholic beverages we're pretty much coming to a close on that I think I have about a week left yesterday before I came to work I started taking down my hair so this is my natural hair this kind of mixed in with the twist I was like I'm not gonna have time to do this so I kind of stopped so I'm glad I started in the middle so I can wear my hair in a bun and y'all will never know so it is currently 12 21 a.m I'm gonna go ahead and decompress for the night relax go ahead and shower get some sleep because my van time is at 9 45 in the morning so I catch y'all in the morning I had a really great time today before I forget, I wanted to show y'all that these are the four pins that I got from the pin shop. These two I got from like a souvenir shop. And then I got Peace and I also got a saxophone from the other pin shop. I used to play the saxophones from middle school all the way through high school. So I thought that was cute. All right, one more thing. So I asked for a bag of ice to go in my lunch bag because I still have a couple of things that I want to keep cool and eat on the aircraft tomorrow before I get back to Atlanta. And this is how they brought it to me. It's crushed up ice, but it's freeze dried and solid. Now, now, some of y'all might be used to this, but I'm not. This is the first time I've ever seen this. This actually gives me an idea because I have a vacuum seal at home. I can make ice at home. I should do this for my own lunch bag. Good night for real, y'all. Good morning, fly crew. Today is day three of three. I'm currently in Rome and I'm getting ready to head out of the door. Let me turn this ring light off. Let me turn this off. Actually, I think I like it better. <laughs> I think I like a better one. So yeah, so I'm getting ready to head out the door. This was a really good trip. This was a very unique trip in that I work with two different flight attendants that I have never worked with before. One is currently now a purser and one of the flight attendants that I've worked with before, her and I hung out on another trip. And then that same flight attendant had friends in town and we were able to hang out and I got to meet new people. It was just a good time. So very unique experience. I do like Rome. I definitely have to come back so I can explore a little bit more, go to the grocery store and just hit multiple things off my list so just like London every time I go there I try to do something new and different I'm gonna treat Rome the same way it is currently 9 29 p.m. Mm -mm. 9.29 a.m. I'm gonna head down a little bit early because I want to get another one of those ice packs to go in my lunch bag and I catch you all in a little bit To the airplane area as you can tell we're all fellowshipping and laughing together so i ended up purchasing this prosecco from duty free we actually got 30 percent off today because it's a holiday so i thought that was very nice i was trying to find this particular seasoning but i couldn't find it in duty free i think i told you all that we were switching aircrafts therefore we're flying back on the 330 so we had to switch positions so now i'm working in the two right position headed back to atlanta i just want to check in let you all know that i made it to the airport and we're getting ready to head to Atlanta. Catch you in about 11 hours. I like it. No, it's fine. It's, it's so nice. The real flower. Yes. It's so beautiful. I've already put out the Comfort Plus amenity kits on all of the seats. The Comfort Plus section on this plane is pretty large, so I had to make sure that I put everything out how it was supposed to go. All of these red seats are Comfort Plus, so I had enough and I didn't have to walk all the way back to the back of the airplane. And I had a few leftovers. It's always better to have a few left over than not enough. Now I have to set up the earbuds because I'm gonna have to do the earbud distribution. When you sign up for your position, it has a little paragraph next to it, not a paragraph, but a few words next to it telling you what your responsibilities are during the boarding process or when you're setting up the cabin and during flight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the earbuds and I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey Max. Sick. Good boy. That was so good. How you been? Such a good boy. Except for when you try to go in the kitchen and go in the trash can. Oh, so you leave off of that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> you can come back. Come. But you're a good boy. 
I made it back from Rome and it was a really, really good trip. It was really nice flying with two flight attendants that I had flown with before. One of them being a flight attendant that I had hung out with previously. And it was good just catching up with her. I hadn't seen her in about three months. We did spring forward while I was in Rome and I lost the hour of sleep. Therefore, I was really looking forward to crew rest today, but our crew rest kind of got cut short maybe by 20 something, almost 30 minutes because the first hour, hour 15 of our flight was bumpy. Therefore, the pilots, the captain did not want us to bring out cars. And that was really a good call because I could see like the customer's heads bobbing back and forth like this. We would have had to sit down anyway. So it's just best if you don't pull them out in a situation like that and just sit. I slept almost the entire time. I'm, yeah, I slept the entire time. I woke up a couple times just to like turn over a little bit. I will be working in the chiropractic office tomorrow as a chiropractor. I was asked like, I want to say maybe Friday or Thursday before this trip. I really contemplated back and forth because I'm like, dang, I don't know if I want to work in a chiropractic office as a chiropractor. I keep saying as a chiropractor because me being a chiropractor has multiple different levels to it, but I will be actually adjusting and taking care of patients tomorrow, which is a much more taxing position. But I was saying to myself, I was like, oh, I just worked at TL. I don't know if I want to work in the office the next day, but I will be doing it. It will go fine. We landed an hour early back in Atlanta. I think we were originally supposed to land closer to 6 p.m. and we landed a little bit before 5. With that being said, that gives me an opportunity to come home, decompress, and just get my whole stuff together so I can relax and be ready for tomorrow. I actually want to tell y'all that one of the drinks that I got from that Sao Paulo trip is very, very, very tasty. This is a good choice. I need to get some more. And the person that I flew with from this vlog was the same one that worked with me on this trip. And he got me Airways gum. It's a menthol gum. So if you have like allergy issues, not allergy, sinus issues, I'll try it at some point. And he was like, he really likes it because it just completely opens you up. So I will be trying it. And then he also brought us some soap, Imperial Leather. Flights that have been working for a long time or that do the same routes over and over again, they really have some gems about what to do and stuff in the area. So on this this trip he asked me what I was gonna do and I was like I have a list and I'm gonna do this and he was like yeah do it all do it all <laughs> so this morning when I got to the van he was like did you stay out late and have fun and do everything I was like I didn't do everything but I definitely stayed out late he was like great <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny I think that was everything I wanted to tell you all about this trip I just really enjoyed it I definitely have to go back in closing I want to thank you all so much for watching this video I truly truly appreciate it thank you all again for subscribing to my channel if you're not a subscriber please make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can be a part of the fly crew and i'll catch you all in my next vlog bye